Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. Government of India decided to save the 20 wetlands as they are congregation sites for several migratory water bird species. What is Central Asian Flyway? What does India's newly launched Central Asian Flyway Action Plan say? Why wetlands must be conserved? What are their significance? GS Paper 3 Conservation In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from hindustantimes.com, dated November 23, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? The Union Environment Ministry has identified 20 wetlands and 9 wetland clusters for conservation as they are congregation sites for several migratory water bird species. These wetlands include Kyolatio in Rajasthan, Koringa in Andhra Pradesh, Bitar Kanika in Odisha, Point Kalimer in Tamil Nadu, Sundarbans in West Bengal, Harike in Punjab, Gulf of Mana, and Nal Soravar in Gujarat. These wetlands will be protected as part of the Centre Central Asian Flyway Action Plan launched recently. What is Central Asian Flyway? The Central Asian Flyway covers a large continental area of Eurasia between the Arctic and Indian Oceans and the associated island chains. The flyway comprises several important migration routes of water birds, most of which extend from the northernmost breeding grounds in Russian Federation to the southernmost non-breeding grounds in West and South Asia, the Maldives and the British Indian Ocean Territory. The birds on their annual migration cross the borders of several countries. Geographically, the flyway region covers 30 countries of North, Central and South Asia and trans Caucasus. What does India's newly launched Central Asian Flyway Action Plan say? The plan states that the boundaries of these wetland clusters will be demarcated and notified under the Wetlands Rules 2017. Additional water will be allocated whenever needed to maintain the ecological health of these wetlands. The action plan proposes that scientists undertake and publish national inventories of stopover and wintering sites of migratory birds and their population status. Implement single species action plans for 20 species, which includes Greater Flamingo, Great Knot, Lesser Flamingo, Eurasian Curlew, European Roller, White-Headed Duck, Yellow-Breasted Bunting and Ferruginous Duck. The action plan states that threats to migratory birds such as feral dogs, sand and boulder mining and land use changes will be accessed. Periodic disease surveillance will be carried out. It again says impact of night light and electrocution risks evaluated and local communities encouraged to participate in the conservation of these bird species. It states that the CAF includes several important migration routes over the high Himalayan passes. Why wetlands must be conserved? What are their significance? Hydrology of wetlands is extremely crucial for flood mitigation purposes with their abilities of water logging, cope with heavy rainfall and passes to the coasts and onwards to the ocean in a uniquely optimal manner. Wetlands surrounding marshlands and network of tanks are richly interwoven in line with agrarian life and provide immense support for the farmers in many ways. Plays a crucial role in water cycle, nutrient cycle and carbon cycle management. They are vital for improving water quality, vegetative land cover and carbon sequestration through soils. Supports mitigation efforts of climate change. For example, impact of floods can be minimized with sound wetlands and mangroves arrest coastal erosion 
and provide natural bulwarks against cyclone and tsunamis by acting as breakwaters. Wetlands are extremely crucial for biodiversity and wildlife conservation as many other animals, avian life, both endemic and migrants, depend on their ecosystems which bear rich aquatic life. Macrophytes and algae not only cultivate fisheries including crabs, molluscs, crustaceans, etc., but also helps in purification of water resources by absorbing heavy metals and carbon with the process of denitrification, detoxification, and oxygenation of water.